Hello, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm not Pam. I'm Erica Botker, Corporate Marketing Specialist for AccuQuilt. And thank you for joining us today. We let Miss Pam take some time off. She's having a great time in an undisclosed location. And I am joined by the lovely Miss Christina today. Hello. Hello. Thanks for being here, Erica. Well, thank you. You know, your job is to keep track of me and, and to make sure I don't get lost or wander <laughs> off the wrong direction, right? You'll be fine, I promise. I love the quilt behind your head. Me too. So this is made with the Mariner's Compass die, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Yes. This is our Go Color Wheel Throw Quilt. I love this one. Me it too. just... It just jumps off the, yes, the colors, colors just pop. with that black and white. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. So where is everybody watching from today, Miss Christina? Oh, gosh. We're getting all kinds. Um, Kay's from Texas. Carla's from Florida. Wet Florida. Wet Florida. Oh, Florida people. Be safe, okay? We're thinking about you. Quite a few Illinois folks as well. Oh, hello, Illinois. It. Great. Yes. Well... Keep coming in. Did you all love the projects in the video before we started? Let's take a look at a couple. There were some really great ones. Okay, first up, we had this adorable spool quilt. This is by Just M, and I love it. This would be the best scrap buster ever, Christina. Yes, absolutely. And you, you could play with the layout however you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, I love that. That's really fun. Wouldn't that be fun for a sewing room? Oh, gosh, yes. Or to have like in your quilting hanging? room? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that. Okay, next up, ooh, this is a pendant project. I love a good pendant project. Yes. This is by Siler House Sewing. Wow, I love, you know, they're so good for birthdays mm -hmm. and parties and- I think every party needs a pendant. Everybody needs a pendant. Everybody needs <laughs> a pendant in their life. And finally, we've got one more project from Wilma M. Wilma, your timing was impeccable. I love your project <laughs> and that you've got a Mariner's Compass right there in the middle of it. That's perfect. All right, well, in honor of the Mariner's Compass today, here's our picture of the day. It's water. Does anybody know the skyline? <laughs> I should just tell you, because otherwise we'll be here. That's Seattle, someplace out there, <laughs> I think you see the Space Needle, so you're gonna know. We put that in because both Pam and I have lived in Washington State. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite body of water? Do you have a favorite body of water, Christina? Oh, probably um, like on the Missouri River, there's like a Lewis and Clark Lake mm -hmm. up in Yankton, South Dakota. That's where I spent the fourth. And it's just so calm and so beachy up Ooh, there. Like as beachy as we get here in the Midwest. As beachy but. as we get here in the Midwest. <laughs> I like being at the ocean. I like being at the ocean, just sitting there and watching it, you know, roll mm -hmm. in and out. It's very calming. It's oh, very soothing. The ocean makes me so nervous. I didn't say I was in the ocean. I said I was by the ocean <laughs> looking go. at it, the Christina. Because the there's things in there. I don't go where I can't see my feet. There's so many things so in there. So many ocean. things in there. So many <laughs> things in there. Well, we have some really exciting news for you here at AccuQuilt. We recently did a website update that has made accessing the amazing features faster than ever. Now, Website updates can also cause existing features to be, well, let's say a little wonky. <laughs> um, if you're using your phone, especially. So there's my phone. Yeah, you can see I have a little sewing machine on the back of my phone. <laughs> I do. Um, so it can be a little wonky, but the good news is everything's gonna be available for you again soon. So yes. thank you for be pa being patient with us as this is just another way that AccuQuilt's working hard to save you time because we want you all quilting more. Yes, our team's working really hard and really as quickly as possible to they get these are. updates fixed. They really, really are. So yesterday, other members of the team worked really, really hard, and we launched our newest Go Die to Try Die of the Month, the Go Sports Medley Die. This is such a fun die, Christina. Yes, it's so cute. We saw so many amazing ideas from our go-getters. It's got five distinct shapes on it that would, quite frankly, all of them be difficult to cut by oh, hand gosh, because yes. I think cutting perfect circles is the hardest thing that you can do. Oh, definitely. Even like that oblong shape of the football, I could never right, imagine. Right, right, because you, you don't get the perfect curve. You don't get the ends, and they're not all going to be the same. But those little football laces... So I tiny. mean, they're so tiny and they're adorable <laughs> just on there. I mean, they're so cute. I just like giggled when I cut the first one. But you can do so many things with it. I mean, we've got craft foam shapes over here that we cut out yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I made Jill, our art director, draw on them for me. <laughs> but we also have free downloadable embroidery. 
which is wonderful because it takes that four inch circle and it turns into all different balls, a soccer ball, baseball, volleyball, basketball. You can do so many things mm -hmm. with it. And that embroidery alone is a $22 value. You know, there's another thing about that circle and we didn't talk about it yesterday that I really like. Yeah. It's a four inch circle. You know, oh. the only other four inch circle I know of is on our go big circle tie. So if you're not a go big owner, you couldn't cut a four inch circle. And I don't know about you, but I don't cut circles by hand nope. anymore. Sure don't. So if you don't own a go big and you want a four inch circle, it's right here on this die, which yes. is a great reason alone to have it because our, our three circle die has two, three and five. Mm -hmm. So there's that little jump. So there's another reason to get it. Yes, and that die is limited quantities, part of our die to try program. And there the, might even be some bundles left on the website. There so might be some code. bundles left, one or two. And there was this really cool game day bundle mm -hmm. yesterday. We were talking about pennants and it had the yep. pennant die in it to make pennants. Think about all the cute things. Football season is gonna be here before we know right, it, guys. Right, exactly. So you can have your team colors, you can do so many fun things. Okay, well, like Christina said, we're on limited quantities mm -hmm. and it is an AccuQuilt exclusive. It's only available at AccuQuilt.com and only, as she said, for a limited time while a limited supply lasts. So get one to finish off all of your sports theme projects before the big game. Okay, so for today's project, we're gonna be working on Mariner's Compass project. We've got our Go Sail On Home wall hanging pattern and you're going to want to download that so that you've got it ready to follow before you begin you want to be sure you read through those instructions i haven't printed mine out they're right over here and make a test block you're going to need our go mariner's compass die to make this gorgeous block and trust me you're going to want it so pam said i had to have a promo for you today and i am not here to disappoint so we have got an exclusive promo for you today We've got 27% off your order. Mm -hmm. You're gonna need to use the code July27 for that. But we have a second promo, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you spend $350 or more, you're also gonna get a free Go Me. We're just gonna put it in the box for you. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna make this project, the project you see here, let's talk about everything you need and then you can make sure you buy it with your 27 you're 27% off. Yes. So we've got our Go Marinus Compass. We've got our two inch strip die. We used our six inch mix and match cube, right? Mm -hmm. The two and a half inch strip die, which every quilter needs, no matter what every quilter needs. And then the one and a half inch strip die, which is my second favorite strip die. Yes, so all those are on sale. That Mariner's Compass with that July 27 code is just $87. Oh my gosh, get it now. Yep. A two and a half inch strip is $73 which I feel like a two and a half inch strip is priceless anyway. It is, it really is. <laughs> I sale never... or no sale, you need that one. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And then the other strip dies are on sale. The uh, one and a half inch is only $80. So... I use that one and a half so much. Yes. So, so much. That's yep. kind of my go-to for, like if I just need a little border to pop something. Right, or... exactly. I'm not a big sashing person, but if I am, I, it's usually something narrow Tiny. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, so we are going to give away one of our Mariner's Compass dies today to one of our lucky viewers. So be sure to share our video on your own personal Facebook page for a chance to win. That's how you win on Wednesdays, yep, right? you got it. Tuesdays you register for, that's how you win then. Wednesdays you share. So in honor of summer, we're even adding a second giveaway for summer. Mm -hmm. So share the video again for a chance to win an AccuQuilt cutting basic set which includes a double-sided rotary mat and an AccuQuilt rotary cutter because every time you quilt, you gotta subcut that fabric somehow, right? Yep. So we'll pick two winners at the end of the show. Okay, all right, Christina's in charge of that. Christina's absolutely in charge of that. <laughs> so our Mariner's Compass die is a bob die, and that means it's a block on board. Now what that means is that all the shapes you need to make this amazing block are on that one die board. So let's take a look at it real quick. I love our Bob dies, Christina. Me too. I love the idea of having all of the shapes you need for one block on just one die. I do too. Pam left me all this fabric, so let me pull it off very nice, neatly here. Okay, so here's our die. I'll hold it up for Greg so we can take a look. So. We laid this out so well. This die is so well put together. 
So they're all screen printed. They all have their, their letters on them. Again, print out your pattern. Then look, look what we have. We have all these little notches all over. And those are gonna make it so easy for you to line up your pieces beautifully. You'll see when we start putting it together. Now remember, we always add your quarter inch seam allowance and you can see it right here. Can you see I've got a burn on my finger? You know where that happened? Was it the iron? No, it was getting the pizza out of the oven for Pam's oh. birthday last week. <laughs> You're welcome, Pam. I sacrificed myself. So our quarter inch seam allowance there and specialized dog ears. And that again is gonna help you line these up. You know, this is a block that most people would make with foundation paper piecing. Oh, I'm sure. Have you ever done that? I have done like some of like the English paper piecing that we've done like with our cube, but never. Foundation paper piecing yeah. to me is like sewing upside down and backwards. Yeah, I could see that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is way easier. So, and it's on a 10 by 24 die board. So it's gonna fit through our go cutter, our go big or a studio with an adapter. So make sure if you're getting this today, don't forget to get a, make sure you have a 10 by 24 mat yes. too. Because as Pam would say, if she was here, what happens without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. <laughs> so you gotta have the mat. We gotta smoosh into something. This block is gonna finish at 12 inches. Okay, now when Pam laid out my fabric and when I first pulled it out, you could see I kind of had the fabric laid out. I had my white, I had my colors, I had my light blue down here. We grouped them perfectly so that they're divided up by color. It's gonna make it a lot easier. We've got a great little graphic here for you to look at. So I'm gonna get my fabric laid out for you here and show you exactly what I mean. So this grouping down here, we've got B, H, J, well, all those letters, all those letters, right? We're yes. gonna put that. These two are gonna be our red ones. We've got our darker blue. We've got... I love this project because it feels so patriotic. It, re it really does. You know, that's the thing. You can do so many things with this project. This would actually be a great Quilts of Valor quilt too. Oh, absolutely. With these colors, wouldn't that be great? Mm -hmm. Especially if it was maybe somebody from the Navy. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Definitely. All right, so we've got everything laid out. Now we talked about our mat, so we better get it. And then I'm missing one, one key factor right now, the cutter. Oh dear. <laughs> so let's put our die aside. We'll grab our cutter, get it up here. And if you don't have a cutter, those are also eligible for that July 27 sale. Let's see, I wanna get it so you can see it going through so that Joe doesn't yell at me and tell me that wasn't what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Not that Joe yells, he doesn't. He's really very mild mannered, but I would hate to disappoint him. You know, it's like when your mom, when you get in trouble when you were a kid and you wish she'd just yell at you and instead she just said, she just quiet. I'm so disappointed in you. That's, that was like the worst. Oh yeah, or when she just gets quiet. Yeah, yeah. So what's ever, what are we hearing about favorite bodies of water? Oh gosh, okay, Brenda P says Lake Michigan. Okay, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. Morgan also says that's hers. It's like 20 minutes from her house. Well, Morgan, you're right there by it. <laughs> I have a scar, I bear a scar through life from Lake Michigan. Oh? I do, on my lip. Oh dear. I was a kid and I was disappointing my mother on a ferry going across <laughs> Lake Michigan and I cut my lip. Let's see, the team Alice. is never gonna let me come back again. They're like, what are you telling now? Alice says the Pacific Ocean is her favorite. I do like the Pacific Ocean, Alice. Um, we've got Big Bear Lake, another Lake Michigan. A lot of folks love the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, it is just hypnotic to me. Just, it's just, just let that stress flow mm -hmm. out, out um, to sea. Wendy says Redfish Lake in Salmon, Idaho. Oh, sure. Okay. Love okay. It. Well, we're out of our cutter now. So we're going to give us a little love here because even though it is hot and humid as all get out, there is still static building up. So. We've got our pieces so we can show you exactly how we had these grouped. And I'm gonna leave my pieces on my die board because I want to keep track of my pieces. And if I were you, I would either leave them on my die board or um, you know, pin a, 
put a sticky note on them or Ooh, there's so, so many sticky notes in my sewing so room. many sticky notes yeah <laughs> yeah so many but something like that because you really do want to keep track of those pieces okay so we've got this and here they are i'm going to leave them there because like i said it's going to help us keep track of those pieces oh yeah i always leave them on the board when i, I do too I do too, and it, they kind of stick. But yep. I also use design boards. Do you oh, use yep. design That's a good boards? Idea. All right, so this block, it goes together as quarter blocks, just like you would think, but they're a little different. So I'm gonna show you how to put those together. Now don't forget, while I'm making this block, we've got an exclusive promo for you today. It's 27% off your order. You're gonna need to use a code. It's July 27. Mm -hmm. It's not Pam's gone. Nope. No. So if you wanted to make this project, the Mariner's Compass is only $87. Yep. That mix and match cube, the six inch is only $160, yeah. which is yeah. crazy. The strips are all under $80. Yep. It's great. The six inch cube is in this one. This table runner, this great table runner uses the eight inch mix and match and the companion angles. Mm -hmm. This would be a good chance. If you don't have your companion sets, guys, this is a great time oh, yeah. to pick up your companion sets to go with your mix and match cubes. Yes. So many things that you can do. Yes, they just give you so many extra options, which That's I love. right. Because you want to spend at least $350 so that you can get that free Go Me yes, today. Yes, definitely. That's right. So don't forget, we're also giving away a Go Mariner's Compass die. Now, one lucky viewer is gonna win that, so be sure you share our video on your own personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Mm -hmm. And we're adding a second giveaway for summer. So when you share this video for a chance to win an AccuQuilt basic cutting set, it's gonna give you that rotary cutting mat and rotary cutter you see there on the screen. Yep, Morgan will pick from all the people that have shared today and we'll announce those winners later. See, it's like magic. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look at this block. Now here's our quarter block. Here's the first part, kind of the first unit. We're gonna build another unit just like this and then we're gonna put them together. Oh, it's so pretty. It really is. So our first is sewing shape C and B together. Okay, so that means Erica has to find C and B. <laughs> so here's our B and is this one our C? That's G. C. Okay, now there's a tip with this block. I wanna make sure I'm doing this right, I am. Okay. I think this is definitely one of those where you take your time. Make it is sure one you, of those where you take your time. Make sure you get the pieces right, make yep. sure you pin them. Yep, you lay them out. She said the magic word, didn't she? <laughs> she said pin, we are gonna use some pins. I'm not gonna use them right now. I'm gonna keep track of what I'm, I'm gonna try and keep track of what I'm doing. <laughs> but. Um, we are going to use some pins. We are going to have that pinning opportunity because I am here. Whoops. I don't sew barefoot on the set like Pam does, but I do need to have it like in front of my foot and not off to the side. I think the hardest part of sewing on set is that you're standing. That was always, you know, it I've is. It. <laughs> have you ever sewed using like just the on and off the push button on your machine? No. Oh, that's tricky too. I bet. I, I was in a sewing mood one time with this machine that the foot feed broke. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, how hard can it be just to use this button? It's harder than you think. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's definitely harder than you think. Okay. We've got some other bodies of water that are nearby. Peggy says Lake Okoboji in Iowa. Oh, yes. I've only ever been there in the winter time. So I've only ever really? seen it frozen. Mm -hmm. I've never been there. And it's so close by. It and is. I've lived here except when I was living in Washington. I can't believe it. Okay, so that's our first section. So that was our C and B. Now, we need to, I think we're gonna press these open. That was definitely a question that came through is how you're gonna press your seams. You know, I'm block. gonna press these open. And the reason is because we're building up a lot of, we're building a lot of seamage here. Sure. So. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna press open because we're gonna have some places where it's gonna get thick. Ooh, Emily says, any lake or ocean view with a sunset and a lighthouse close by is her favorite. Oh, lighthouse, you know, there's something about a lighthouse. <laughs> there is, there is. I got I, I'm seeing you that one for sure. Karen says, I've sailed many seas in the Navy. Favorite is probably the South Pacific near Guam. It's the best scuba diving anywhere, she says. Wow, 
Well, okay. I can believe that. All right. We've pressed those open. Next up, we've got shape D that we're gonna put on the other side. So, where's my D? Ah, I knew it would be there. Now look, at, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk notches in a minute because the notches are really key to this whole thing. They are definitely your friend and they're a huge reason why this works so well together. They're also a huge reason why cutting it with the die is so much easier. <laughs> I couldn't imagine cutting these pieces by hand. Oh golly. You know, I did cut these pieces by hand. Oh, that's right, there's that video. I did cut them by hand and I cut them by hand um, before we got the die one time. Oh goodness. Yes, oh goodness is absolutely correct. That's very well, that's very well put. That's how I felt about it about halfway through cutting it. <laughs> okay. Da, 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 da. A lot of folks are saying the Caribbean Sea is their favorite. Ooh. I could see that. That Someone sounds nice. Someone said streams in the Smoky Mountains. I, I, my mother has very fond memories of the Smoky Mountains when she was a kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So look, look how quick this, it really comes together quickly. If you can, I know it looks complex, but trust me, master a quarter inch seam allowance, you're gonna be good to go on this, guys. Okay. All right, so here we've got, this is our uh, ABCD unit. Okay, now it's time to add I to the bottom of the BCD unit. So I, aha, is down here. Now there's a little notch again here, and the notch is important because you have to sew it so that you have a notch. Okay, and the lineup is gonna be, Greg, I don't know if I can even show you this or not. It's Maybe. a tiny little piece. It is a tiny little piece. So we're gonna line it up like this. This notch is gonna line up with this. But the reason you know that this is the way the piece needs to lie is because I need a notch on this side because there's a notch on this side. There's no notches on this side, so I don't want a notch on this side that's of That's a great I. tip. So that's gonna, that's gonna come into play every time we do it. Yes, your notches always match up. Notches there's no always. Notch, there's no notch on the other side. That's right. And when I start to working with my notches, you know what I do? I pin. Yep, that's I get when, it. That's when I take <laughs> and I put a pin right there on that notch. And now this is definitely a chain piecing project. The, the tricky part, like I said, is keeping track of the pieces. But keeping track of those notches is gonna be what helps you with that. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, all these people are making me want to go on another vacation now, just because they're naming all these places to see with water. You know, I haven't been anywhere in ever so long. Yeah. That does sound very attractive to me. Um, Piper says Butte Lake on Denali Highway in Alaska. Ooh. It's quite the hike, but it's worth it. Okay. Oh, you got to hike to get, you've got to work, you got to work for your view, huh? <laughs> you got to work for your view. Joanne says Lake Champ, excuse me, Lake Champlain between, Champlain. Champlain between Vermont and New York is a good one. That sounds, that sounds good. I like New England. Pamela says anywhere in Acadia National Park. Great. I could see that. Yep. When we lived in Washington, we lived out on the coast for a while and it was close to the temperate rainforest and okay. there was a beautiful waterfall there. I should have looked up a picture of that. Okay, now I have got those done and I'm gonna press this down, okay? Because it, it really just wants to go that way anyway. So that's that eye piece, and it's got just the slightest bit of a curve to it. Just the very slightest bit of a curve to it. And so these pieces are just like this side with the notch on the outside. So the other side then is put together 
the same way. And we would put then the next thing that we're going to do is take our friend here. This is shape E. And shape E is going to go on the other side because it can now because we've added I. Now, if we went ahead and tried to put this on without this piece, we would have panicked because it wouldn't have been long enough, right? <laughs> so again, read your directions. And there are also very good pictures because I personally am terrible at following directions, but I'm really good at following pictures. Yes, these pictures on the graphics come directly from the pattern too. So mm -hmm. they'll help you out. They really will. And if you need the extra guidance, you can always come back and watch this video and get Erica's tips as well. Yes, and again, I'm gonna show you those dog ears are gonna line up. I don't know, can we see that? Yeah, how they line up. Boy, this white fabric is hard to see. Whoops. I like how it looks though, you know? It's so crisp with the blue and the red. Okay, any more different bodies of water we've so got, many. Christina? So many. A lot of folks are saying the Ozarks in Missouri. Oh, yeah. love Lake of the Ozarks. My in-laws used to have a place down there. It was so fun to go down there. Kay says Gull Lake, California. It's in the Sierra Mountains by June Lake. I have not been there. Me neither. Ooh, Morgan says Lake Louise in Banff National Park. Oh. Well, there we're talking. Yeah, what about our Canadian friends? Yeah, I'm also excited. I think um, Lake McDonald might be one of my favorites in Montana when we go in oh. Glacier National Park. That one will be exciting to see. Yeah. It's got like those rainbow rocks all over the beach. Oh, really? I'm so oh, excited. fun. All right, bring back pictures. We can make them the picture of the day. Oh, there we go. We'll talk about rainbow rocks. Okay, so again, here we go. Got this piece on. It's just we're just building around that sec that segment. Build, build, build. I think I'm gonna. Ooh, Pat says Fundy Bay in New Brunswick. Ooh, okay, New Brunswick. That's that sounds lovely. Yes. I feel like this is a good time of year to go there. Yes, I think so too. I feel like I tend to, I'm not like a snowbird, like I don't go south for the winter, but I go north for the summer where it's cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because it's so hot and humid oh, here. it's so gross. It's so, it's so hot and humid. Yesterday was just nasty by the time I got home. And I wasn't like I was out in it. I mean, I just like went from here to here to home. Yeah, even like your garage door have, to your house, like, oh. I took, I took trash out last night, like at 10 o'clock. It was still, still hot yep. and humid. <laughs> Oh, it's nasty. Okay, so here we are, look at that. So we're all lined up. It's gonna go on with the other piece. Now the other side is gonna go together just the same. Mm -hmm. So again, the pro tip is the notches. They're gonna help you sew these pieces in the correct direction. You're never gonna sew a flat edge to a notched edge. That's the key. Does that make sense? Yes, To definitely. everybody? Yep, notches always together, flat sides together. Always together, flat sides. So then this section is gonna line up like this because we've got a notch over here, we're gonna have a notch over here. It's magic. I love that you build this block in like quarters too, so you really see mm -hmm. it come together. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of times people will ask, can AccuQuilt really save me time and fabric? And I have to say yes to both. And I think this block is a great example of that, don't you, Christina? Oh yeah, I yeah. could never, I would never want to cut this by hand. No, and I think you would mess up too. Oh yeah, and then you'd have wasted fabric, and you then, have to go find more fabric. And you might say bad words or something like that too. <laughs> they might just slip out when you weren't, you know, expecting it. I used to have a hard and fast rule that I never sewed past nine o'clock at night oh, okay. because bad things would start to happen, you sure. know, when you start to get tired and all. And I don't, I don't follow that rule anymore. And sometimes bad things do happen when you're <laughs> sewing too late at night. I always try not to sew before noon because I haven't probably had my coffee. So then, oh. then everything happens. You know, we had a dear friend of mine who worked here and she was a morning, she's a morning person. Mm -hmm. KP's a morning person. 
And she would get up and sew in the morning before she came to work. Oh my goodness. I know, I couldn't even imagine. No, I don't do a lot before working hours. No, no. Okay, we're pressing it open, we're pressing it open. Okay. All right, now this is the other side of the unit that we're making here. Now take this back, and again, you can see how we're building around this quarter. We'll hold there. And then, keeping our notches on the outside. Pam didn't leave us an, an easy block to make, but no. it really goes together. See how well it's going together, guys? Don't panic. She sneakily gave you one she didn't want to do. You think? <laughs> hmm. So what are you bringing me back, Pam? I know, what souvenirs are we getting? Chocolate? Do you think she's probably too hot to bring us chocolate? Oh, probably it'd melt. Hmm. All right. Well, what are you working on right now, Christina? We haven't had a chance to talk for a while. We gotta catch up. Yeah. Just, you know, listen in everybody and we're- So currently I'm working on an English paper piecing project. Oh. Where I'm taking all of my scraps from every project I've ever done <gasps> and making one inch hexagons. And then, I love that. Yeah, I've got ooh, 575 basted <gasps> already. She was showing off pictures last yeah. weekend. I knew she was gonna talk about that. So I got, love that. I've got some road it trips coming great. up. So I figured I could hand sew while I'm in the car. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Now, do you have anything in a, a particular design in mind? Or nope. you just... No, nope, it's just, just going to be, I'm going to dunk my hand into my vat of hexagons and just pick a couple out at a time and sew them together. That's how I had to teach myself to sew scrappy. Mm -hmm. Because I kept wanting to ma be matchy and, and like plan. Oh, no, I don't like how this one looks next to this one. And a friend said, no, if you have to, just put your hand, you're going to like it better if you just leave it. Yes. And trust the process. Trust the process. That's right. That's right. Okay, so now we, we're putting this piece on. And again, our piece J is going to go on the bottom of this unit. And it is going to, again, have the notch towards this side. We're going, these notches go this way, these notches go this way. <laughs> There we go. Well, I am working on finishing, hand finishing the binding on a new quilt for my bed. Oh, there you go. Oh, for your bed. Yes, it's a big. big. One. Yeah, it's big. It's going to take me a, a, a little bit. This would have been a great quilt to bind in the middle of winter oh, when sure. it's freezing because <laughs> it's really big. Um, I was working on it over the weekend because this is more than a one night project. Mm -hmm. And uh, my little dog, Riley, who doesn't like the fireworks very oh, much, sweetie. was underneath my legs, underneath the quilt. Oh. <laughs> underneath, like, you're gonna be hot there. He wasn't a fan. No. But How's Oscar with the? You know, he's, he just kind of ignores it. He usually you know, sleeps through them. I felt a little guilty leaving him for the 4th of July, but we had a friend come watch him and she said he was pretty fine. He yeah, didn't like have any pretty chill like, freak outs. That's good. I don't think it bothered my cat. I had a cat growing up. I don't think it bothered Toby at all. I also think Oscar can sleep through just about anything, so. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that it's the cats can just sleep and they don't care. Maybe that's it, but Riley cleared. Okay, so now we've got both of those sides. So the exciting part now is that this gets to go on to the side of this. So we're gonna do one of these. I don't wanna get you bored with how this is going together, but it goes together so well. I love showing it off. Oh, it's so beautiful. There's a couple of folks saying that they were glad that we did this one because they bought it, but hadn't, oh, good. hadn't been brave enough yet. Oh, good, hang on there. You know, don't, don't panic. Stay with me here, it's really not bad. It goes together surprisingly slick and you get these amazing little points. You just have to trust the process, don't? Definitely. This is one of those times where you just have to trust the, trust the pattern, trust the process, ride, ride the wave and it's gonna be okay in the end. Oh, there's a lovely comment from Valerie. Yes, Valerie. She says, by the way, Erica, you're doing a great job sewing this complicated block all by yourself on camera. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> That was very sweet of you to say, and I really appreciate it. Because <laughs> when we started working on it this morning, I said, oh, Pam, what did you do? But really, like I said, it's just, the key is to keep track of your, your pieces and your notches. Definitely. Don't you think, Christina? Okay, so we're almost ready. 
to make another section. Well, Catherine says you make it look so easy. It is. I'm doing this. I'm just doing it right here. And you know what? I haven't even, I, I did print out the pattern. I've got it right here. But I didn't, like, refer to it yet. Be sure you check your quarter inch seam. That's the key on this one. Um, do you have a seam guide that you keep by your sewing machine? I don't. I have a seam guide. Um, I don't know if I know what that is. Yeah, well, it's this little piece of, of, of metal that shows you a quarter inch seam. But you can use a ruler, put, but just be sure you check those quarter inch seam sure. allowances. Because I noticed, I don't always sew on this one, and I have a quarter inch foot on mine. Mm -hmm. And a couple of mine are a little scant, so if I'm off, it's, it's oh, user sure. error, just so you know. Okay, so we've got these two sections. Now, this is the fun part. This is our smile time. It's time to add our arch. This is, J, this is K. And you want to follow these steps. Again, follow the steps in the right order. Now, some of you are going, I'm putting that on now. Yes, please. <laughs> you really do. Ooh, and, there's a great question from Jenny. Yes, Jenny. She says, do the dies have to go through the cutter a certain way? Well, they really should go through, as Miss Pam would say, with a label at your belly. Mm -hmm. And then your lengthwise grain will your go. Your lengthwise faster. grain is going to go parallel to your lengthwise blade as it goes through the cutter. And that's a great question. As a matter of fact, somebody asked that the other day, I think on our website or, or someplace, mm -hmm. was, and I got that question early on, one of my first, oh gosh, when I first started here, I spent a lot of years um, in sales for AccuQuilt before I moved to the marketing team. And on one of my, they started me with talking to customers mm -hmm. on the phones and this lady called and she said, my die is broken. I just got my die and I opened it up and it's broken. And I said, oh my gosh, I wonder what happened to it. I can't imagine, I mean, these are sturdy dies. I can't imagine what happened to it. She goes, I don't know either. I just can't figure out how this could have ever happened. And I said, so we talked a little bit longer and finally, and I wasn't really understanding how it was broken and where it was broken. And finally she said, well, it's crooked. Oh. And I said, it's crooked? She goes, yes, the shapes on it are crooked. There we go. There we go. We put our, well, you know why we do that, right? Yeah, so that yeah. it eases it over the Right, because going rollers. through the cutter is like driving over a speed bump. So we're trying to go over one tire at a time. Yeah, if you had like a flat metal, like the die blade going right up against that metal right. roller, it would just right. be really jarring. So where it really matters is when you've got crosswise blades. Sure. So, okay, now when you lay up your notches, I was just chatting away and pinning. And when you do this, is it better if I put it over here, Joe? Um, you can see I'm just pinning at each notch and look, I know you're nervous about this curve, but look how well it's gonna lay out. You could probably do it without pins, but you know I don't do that, right? <laughs> so you might wanna use a stiletto. Some people like using a stiletto oh, to get I love that. at the beginning and the end, um, or a purple thing. You have a purple thing? I do. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. Ooh, we've got a comment that says, I'm so excited to try this now. You've given me the tips and the confidence to try. Yay, you're going to have so much fun with it. And really, this is a very natural curve. If you're not, like, overly comfortable with your playing with curves, this is a great way to get started. Because it just kind of, don't fight it, okay? I think that's the key when you're sewing curves, is that your job is to guide it through, not to, especially that piece on top. Your job is to guide it. You're its, you're its guide through the sewing machine. You're not like pulling and pushing it right. through the sewing it, machine. It wants to sew. So it wants to sew, to it wants it. to go through there. And the key is to keep those, keep your, you know, your beginning and ending, and that's where your stiletto comes in handy. Ooh, a lot of folks are saying your nails are beautiful, Erica. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so Mike was giving me a hard time. Did you hear him yesterday? I He's didn't. our production consultant. He said my my fingernails need their own website. Oh. 
<laughs> so I do home dip, a home dip manicure. Well, there you go. Uh huh. So I did fun ones for the 4th of July and I thought they might be a little wild, but they still look so good I couldn't stand to take <laughs> it off. Oh, I sewed over my pin, don't tell anybody. Your secret's safe here. There's only 600 people watching, it's fine. Okay, so, so really. <laughs> Another tip, if you've got a sewing machine that um, you can raise your foot, like leave, stop with your needle down and raise your foot just a halfway, mm -hmm. a lot of sewing machines will have a setting like that. Then if you have a tighter curve and you get some bulk built up, okay. you can just leave your needle down, raise your foot just a little bit and smooth it out. But seriously, this is like the easiest curve. Okay, and then, I find curves like to, to press to the outside. Look at this, look. I just did that while we were talking even. So let's press it and prove it to you. And then that's another, we've done half a block while we were talking here. So really, not bad. Right. Hey, we've got some great news for our quilters who live in the UK and Australia, don't we? Our products are now available on Amazon in your respective countries. So oh, that, there's a great question from Sue. Yes, Miss Sue. She says, what if you wanted to use more than three colors like the quilt on the wall behind me? How would you lay out your fabric? I'd say you'd start with that pattern. Yeah, I'd start with that pattern. And just kind of alter mm -hmm. it for however many mm -hmm. colors you want to add. Yep, I would. I definitely would. Okay, so now we've got, look, 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 look. Let's get the die Barbara out Barbara has now. a great point. It's okay to sew over the pin. It's just when you hit it, that's the real problem. Yeah, that is the real problem. <laughs> but better hitting the pin than yourself. Definitely. Not that I've ever done that. Okay, <laughs> so once you get your quarters, and I've, I've got three quarters. I don't have a full quarter here. Um, then you're going to put this piece in between. Okay? Now, don't worry about the center. We have a center coming up. We're gonna take care of that. And just because we can, I'm gonna go ahead and pin my notches on this, okay? So we have a really amazing live event coming up. Next Tuesday, we do live events on Tuesdays, and next Tuesday, join Lynn, Pam, and I, that's July 13th, as we talk all about the, international, the quilts at the International Quilt Museum. We took a road trip to Lincoln to visit the museum, and it's fabulous, okay? It's a behind the scenes tour. It's gonna be a great show. You don't wanna miss it. Mm. Register in the link below, sorry. Talk to Christina for a minute. <laughs> I have to blow my nose and I don't want everybody to look at me. And so. if you can't make it to that noon time slot, uh, we're showing a special um, after dark show at seven o'clock where you can watch it then too. And yeah. you know what? Pam and I are going to be monitoring comments yes. on Facebook at night. So it was just such, it, it, you guys don't miss this event. Okay. That place is beautiful. So this is shape A and we're now going to sew shape A on and then we can sew our sections together. Super happy about it. And then we're going to show you how to finish that center section. So you're leaving the very middle you know, when we quilt something, we start in the middle and we work out, but we're gonna be starting, we're leaving the middle until very last on this project. So hang with us. Ooh, there's someone, uh, her name's Pamela, and she says, a group of us are going to Missouri Star next weekend, and then we're going up to visit the museum too. Oh. In Lincoln. Oh, it is amazing. There's a gift shop there too. Ooh, that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got into a little bit of trouble. Not a lot, not a lot. Um, <laughs> they have fabric, they have custom made fabric that has their logo on it. Oh, their logo is beautiful too. Their logo is so cool. It really is. All right, so we're gonna get ready for that shape L. Now, I'm. there are all different ways that you can finish that shape L. And I was supposed to put fusible on the back of mine before I cut it and I forgot but I'll show you what I mean in a minute. 
I think of these things, you know, as I'm like ready for my next step and I go, oops. Oh, I get it. It's kind of oh, like there's all my threads. Thoughts, where you think of something and then you forget <laughs> it. And... When you go to the grocery store for, you know, sugar and you come home and you've got everything but. Everything but. Ugh. Same, yeah, same thing. All right, we're going to go ahead and press this open so you can see it. I tell you, the first one of these that I sewed together when we were do first doing testing of it, I was just like practically giddy. It was so exciting. It's so pretty. And I'm, I'm texting Lynn and Pam. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so great. So take your time. It's not a... I'm, I'm trying to keep myself moving, but the rest of you don't have to. So this is going to go together. This is going to go together. And look, we're going to have a hole left in the middle, and we're going to have our shape L that's going to fit in the middle. Now, you've got some options on how to add this to your project. You could use our free embroidery download. That would work. It's a $10 value. It's free. It's going to go stitch right around that. Or, or next option, you could do just raw edge applique. You could use a decorative stitch on your machine. Or if you want to get really fancy, or if you like doing needle turn, oh. you could use the die to cut it out of freezer paper. And then you could cut loose, um, just rough cut a circle. Have you done freezer paper with applique? Never. I've okay. never done applique. It's actually a really good way to do circles. If you like doing that, if you like doing handwork. And then you use your iron and you kind of freeze it, uh, kind of tap it around the edge. We'll have to do that on a show yeah, sometime. I've never, yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah. But you have to like doing handwork. And I know a lot of people are like, uh, no, thank you. That's why I have a sewing machine. But you're kind of embracing the handwork thing now with yeah. your English paper piecing, Give right? Give it a try. I've got a lot of like television shows that I want to watch. So I plan on just sitting there and watching them while I sew to 18 hour car rides coming up in August. You so. know, you've got ample hand sewing. That's why I like English paper piecing, mm -hmm. quite frankly, is because it's so good for that. And it's a pretty easy project to bring with you places. Now, so your honey lets you stitch and he drives? Yep, he loves to drive so he can just drive all day. Plus Perfect. when we when we go to Glacier, we've got four of us in the car, so we'll just Oh, take so turns. you can Yeah. That's actually really smart. Mm -hmm. She's a smart cookie she is. <laughs> okay. All right. We're just about done with this 3 quarter, but I know everybody wants to see it go together. And it's the nice thing about the pattern we're doing today is it has just that one signature, that one block right there in the middle, and then the outside is really basic piecing and borders, and it'll go together super slick for you. So there we go. There we go. We're going to put our circle on. We'd have our last section right over there. And again, you've got options for how you put that together. Does everybody know we have a blog? We do because I work on it. It's a place to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, more ways to use and love your AccuQuilt fabric cutter and dies. You can meet our go-getters and get to know the team behind the brand and join in the conversation that we're having right now. All right, so the last thing that you're gonna have to do is follow the pattern to do your outer borders. This is gonna be from your cube, your quarter square triangles, we've got half square triangles, We've got strip dies, and you're going to be done. You could even come up with your own design and use the new Go 12-inch setting triangles. I love those setting triangles. Mm, yes. Ooh, those would be good to get on the uh, your deal today, wouldn't they? The setting triangles? The setting triangles. Those are a little too new still. They're still babies. Oh, that's right. That's right. Forgive me. I lost but my head. But you can head. get the 12-inch cube. 12-inch cube, definitely. Yes, that definitely. one's only 211 today. That's right. Okay, now remember all of our AccuQuilt Live videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So if you need to go back and watch one, you can. If you get into the middle of your Mariner's Compass block and you get confused, go ahead, pull it back up and yep. take a look. So don't worry about that. Like we said, we've got that exclusive promo today. It's 27% off. You need to use a code though, it's July 27. Plus 
you're gonna get that free go me when you spend $350 or more. So again, that 12 inch cube, great mm -hmm. chance to get yep. that. And your companion set, because why not? The 12 why inch not? cube is only 211 and the companion sets are 151. Oh my gosh. So those will put you right at that 350 and get perfect. you that free go me. Perfect, perfect, okay. Well, let's announce our winner today, yes. Christina, because somebody's somebody out there is inspired and is ready to make a Mariner's Compass. Yes. I know it. So the winner of our Mariner's Compass die today is Barbara Hubach from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Barbara. And then our winner for that cutting set, so you'll win that oh, yeah, cutting the, mat and that rotary cutter. Right. Is drum roll, please. Sarah Walters. Congratulations, Sarah. Yes, Morgan will be reaching out to your comments and getting you getting your info so she can send you those prizes. Perfect. Well, next week, Miss Pam will be back from vacation, rested and glowing, I'm sure. She'll be showing you a fun Christmas in July project yes. using the ghost stocking die. Oh, get the ghost stocking die today. Oh, that's go. a good idea. Then you'll be ready. It's a modern twist on a traditional stocking. Download the free pattern and be sure to tune in. She's been dreaming this up. She's been working on this for a while. Yeah. This is a great project. You're going to love it. All right. We've got our compass here. We're ready to go. I'm going to go back out into the heat and humidity. On behalf of our whole team here, I know Nick's upstairs. We've got Justin here on Baby Watch. How many more days? So soon. soon, his soon wife says baby. soon, his wife says soon. <laughs> Joe back there, Greg's joining us again on the camera. Hello, Greg. And of course, lovely Christina. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help, my Thank friend. You for it being was great here. having you. Likewise. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you get to quilt more. Bye everybody.